Genesis chapter 11, one to six. Amen. Amen. That's what the Lord wanted to emphasize things. These things. I bring it up. And the whole earth was what? Of one language and one speech. Praise God. One language and one speech. Hallelujah. And the whole earth was of one language and one speech. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23. Verse 23. Everybody let us read. Let us hold fast the word. The profession of our faith with unwavering. For he that for he is faithful that promised. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Alright, somebody, let's read the King James. Let me read the Amplified. That's the King James. Now listen to the King the Amplified. Verse 23, the Amplified says this. So let us seize and hold fast and retain without wavering the hope we cherish and confess and our acknowledgement of it. For he who promised, for he who promised is reliable. He who promised is reliable, sure, faithful. Amen. Now, for God's people, see, God wanted me to bring out, see, the, these people, they were of one language. Yeah. Amen. We of God, God's people from God's people, from God's people, uh, kingdom should speak one language. What is the language of the kingdom of God? Is there is the word of God? Is the language of faith? Amen. Amen. Is the language of faith? And then he says they, they were of one speech. That means they, are, they were of one confession. Praise God. They were of one confession. They spoke their language. They were of one language and they were of one speech. Is that not what he says? But Hebrew says, everybody, let us read Hebrew. Hebrew says, let us hold fast the profession of what? Of our faith without wavering. One translation says, let us hold fast the confession of our faith. Hold fast. Amen. Amen. Hold fast. Glory be to God. For your faith to work, you must hold fast the confession of your faith. Yes. For your faith to work, you must speak the language. Yes. The language of the kingdom of God is the language of faith. Yes. One thing I found in the Bible is that the Bible is a faith book. Yes. Amen? Amen. The language of God is faith. Yes. It's the language of faith. You see, you can, in the, Bible, in the book of James, he said, let, let, not, let not him that laboreth. Think he will receive anything from God. And so you see that the, 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 the problem in the church is not a matter of prayer. It's a matter of faith. Because sometimes a lot of us pray, I will pray around it. The Bible says in the book of James, you ask and receive not because you ask what? You ask and eat. We ask our permits. And so you know, so a lot of God's people, you know, they they turn out they you know they are sincere, very sincere, but sincerely wrong. A lot of God's people are sincere, but sincerely wrong. And so they, they you know, before they, before they pray, they don't open their, they don't check out what they pray. You must for prayer to work, it has to be in line with scripture. Amen. It has to be in line. See, the Bible says they had one language. They had one language and they had one speech. You know, the language, whatever that language is, is, but the speech they had is, we are building a tower. We are going to stay here and build a tower that we get to heaven. And everybody, every one of them was saying, we are going to build a tower. Glory be to We are going to stay here and build a tower. And it's going, we are going to build it into heaven. We are going to stay here and build a tower. And we are going to build a tower that will go to heaven. Mm. Amen. Mm. They kept on saying that. And Almighty God looked at them and said, Look at these people. Because nothing can be taken from them 
what they have set their mind to. Amen. All right, let's go back to, uh, to uh, let's go back to um, to Genesis. Let's go to back to Genesis chapter eleven.
push you. See, and I saw, one sister was telling me, see everybody, you know, says, he said, Pastor Mike, I hear everybody, even on TV, on you know, the, everybody's talking about dream. Yeah, that's the right thing to talk at this time. That's what you should be thinking. Dream is the power that pushes you forward in reaching God's destiny for your life. So many of us, we just wake up, you know, we, we, we rise up and just wake up, you know, the way we brush our teeth, go to work, you know, you know, put on our clothes, watch some TV, eat some food, go to, you know, see. But what are you doing to change the world? What are we planning to change the world? Who said that? Who, you know, God, who said God told somebody, and you just come and, and then everybody just be looking? No! The way to change the world is in the hands of the who, you know, I'm coming that. The way to change the world is in the hands of whosoever is we. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. The dream! I mean, glory be to God. This I, and God just wanted me to put that. But we talked about dream, and then we talked about we talked about deep, but we talked about dry. Now, what is what is dry? That's where we are today. What is dry? Dry is to push. Dry propels you. Glory be to God. You have to press to dry. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go to Philippians chapter 3. Fresh. Dream. World changers. Dry. Dream. They have drives. What drives us? What drove you to come here this morning? She dream. The drive. The drive is the push. Something that propels you, something that presses you, makes you, presses you forward. Something that guides you. Philippians, let me, let's go to Philippians chapter 3. I'll start from Philippians chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3 verse 12 says, very interesting, not as though I have already attained, either. neither everybody read, mm -hmm. not as though I have already attained, okay. either they are already perfect, but I follow after, he that I may apprehend, that for which also I am apprehended of Jesus Christ, verse 13. Brethren, I can't not myself to have what? Apprehended. Apprehended. But this one thing, everybody said this one thing. This, this one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are what? Behind I what? Which for onto those things that are before. Is it dry? One of the things that will hinder your forward motion. It's when you begin to look back. You begin to look back at what happened to you yesterday. Your successes and your failures. God told Lot and his family, when you get out of Sodom and Gomorrah, don't look back. But Lot's 